Hey everyone, how you doing? My name's Adam and this is the review of the Dell U2412M desktop monitor. I hope you enjoy, here we go. I'm going to keep things very short and very simple. The design of this monitor is fantastic and suits any business or personal environment. Personally I use it in my own house and I use it alongside my PlayStation 3 and my laptop and it does the job perfectly. Notice the black colour scheme blends in very well with whatever setup that you have. On the left hand side of the monitor there are also two USB 2 ports and in regards to connectivity on the back of the monitor it includes one DVI port, one display port, one VGA port, one USB 2 port and then a section with four USB 2 ports and a DC power connector. And that brings me to my first issue. My first issue is this is a 24 inch monitor with a resolution of 1900 by 1200, a very high resolution, yet it doesn't support HDMI. Now a lot of you will be wanting to use this monitor alongside consoles like me, so then you're going to have to purchase a HDMI to DVI adapter in order to make it work correctly. As you've also probably been watching, this monitor features a swivel feature which enables you to move the screen's location without actually moving the base of the monitor which is very good if you wish for the monitor to remain stationary. Many people become concerned when it comes to the response times of IPS monitors as they tend to be far slower than the standard monitors and I can confirm though that this IPS monitor does an amazing job at very fast paced games such as Dota, I've played FIFA on my PlayStation, it handles them extremely well with no ghosting that's at least visible to me anyway. Okay then, let's talk tech. First of all, obviously this is a 24 inch design with a 60.96 cm viewable area. The aspect ratio is 16 by 10 widescreen. This is obviously an IPS display. The optimal resolution is 1920 by 1200 at 60Hz. The contrast ratio is 1000 to 1 typical with 2 million to 1 dynamic. The response time is 8 milliseconds grade to grade typical. The maximum viewing angle is 178 degrees. Again with the connectivity, just so you didn't just in case you didn't catch it, we've got one digital visual interface connector, that's obviously DVI, one display port, one video graphics array, VGA, one USB 2 upstream port, and four USB 2 downstream ports. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the menu settings on this monitor. You access these by clicking on one of the buttons on the right hand side. Once you've clicked one of these you should be able to access them by clicking one above it for example. See I've clicked the button and it brings up the menu. I then need to click the corresponding button on the right hand side to access the menu. So you can see brightness and contrast that button next to it is what I need to press. Once you press the button you'll get an extended menu. So in this example I've gone onto the brightness and contrast menu and then the functionality of the buttons then change to directional arrows allowing you to navigate the menus. I think the menu on this monitor is really really comprehensive and allows you to get all the features that you'd want. Even to the point where you can change the preset modes to enable the brightness and the overall sharpness of the display. Something I forgot to mention which was in terms of the physical design of this monitor is that you can actually tilt it to whatever angle you'd want. This is great in a business environment in case you were editing graphics for example where you'd want to see it in a different angle. There's my feeble attempt at a one-armed movement of it. Thanks very much for sticking with this video. This has been my review of the Dell UltraSharp 24 inch monitor U2412M. I really really do enjoy this monitor, well, you can tell how much I enjoyed it because I actually paid for this as my personal monitor. So I've done my research into it then I've gone out and purchased it myself so I just thought I'd give you guys a quick review and my opinion on its performance and its attributes.